Hey guys, it's Jonathan. I had a great conversation with Frankie last night about setting up custom GPTs, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to take a couple minutes today and just walk everyone through the process of setting up a custom GPT, setting up a custom project in Claude, and setting up a gem in Gemini. These are all very similar, but there are some small differences. The good news is it's super easy. And you may go, Jonathan, why in the world would I need to set up a custom GPT or a Claude project? Well, anytime you want to train the model on your data and have it use your data, it's a great opportunity to create something like this. Now, let me first address which platform should you use. I'm a huge fan of Claude. I absolutely love it and its projects. I think it's probably the best out there right now. But it has one major downside. You can't share a Claude project with someone else. If you want to share it, that's where I recommend going to ChatGPT. And it's super easy to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take a look at one of my GPTs here. By the way, uh, you, you can see I've got a ton of them here. It's uh, super easy. I'm going to take a look at my Viral Wave Viral Content Generator. So this is a custom GPT that I created that I use as part of a course and a challenge that I offer. And what I wanted to do is basically I wanted to create an AI tool that would allow a user to give it specific information and it would then follow a viral posting framework to create a viral worthy social media post. Now we can obviously type that into uh, OpenAI or in this case into ChatGPT every time we could give it all the instructions and all that but that takes a long time. So instead what I did is I built out this custom GPT and you can see if you have this link and you guys can snag it you, you'll be able to do this and you can create custom customized viral posts so it's super easy let me go ahead and show you how we set that up so you go to explore gpts and then you go to create up here and here's where you're going to do it you're going to create it you'll have two tabs you'll have a create tab this is great i'll move my head out of the way here if you want to just have chat gpt walk you through the process so that you don't have to necessarily think about it this is great you can literally just answer the question starts with what would you like to make and chat gpt will walk you through if you're add like me and maybe you're in a hurry you can go to the configure tab and you can just fill these things out name your gpt add in a description put in your custom instructions things like that custom instructions by the way are going to be the what you want this gpt to do and i'll show you one in just a moment and then you've got your knowledge base you can upload files to so let me go ahead and give you an example here I'll go out to one of my other recent ones here my uh, avatar one let's go ahead here where is it there it is so I'm going to go ahead and edit this one just a moment so I can show you kind of what it looks like in the background so this is my avatar advisors demo this is one we use to create or in this case I created a board of advisors made up of AI based avatars I didn't put a description in because that's just for me or for somebody using it it doesn't really serve any value but then I did go ahead and I put in some custom instructions and you can see here I started off with you're an AI powered board of advisors consisting of multiple distinct avatars each avatar has a unique background expertise and personality based on real world data it. Your task is to provide diverse, insightful advice on various topics by leveraging the collective knowledge of these avatars. And then I said, who was on my board? So I put on Peter Drucker, David Ogilvy, Tony Stark, Hermione Granger, Seth Godin, Elon Musk, John Galton, Steve Jobs. And then you can see I've got a, a number of additional instructions that I've put together that helps make sure that this works the way I want it to. And you may say, Jonathan, where do you come up with those custom instructions? You test, you try things, you explain what you want done. Then as part of that, in order to make this more powerful, I uploaded knowledge base. So I have PDFs here representing each of those advisors. And these PDFs are Google Docs that I've ultimately created that have that experience. So you'll be able to see here real quick here. Let me go ahead and pull one of them up. Uh, let's see if I've got one handy. We'll pull up the one for Elon Musk. So here I've got a bunch of information, including who that person is, their background, their personal traits, their experience, their knowledge base, their network and influence, communication preferences, bias. You can see a lot of stuff in here. I've got 18 separate things that I pulled up. And then I even added some updated information in this case just for Elon, because of course, Elon's Elon. That then gets saved as a PDF and gets uploaded right over here as one of these eight files. And I did that for each one of the members on my board. And that was really it. I enabled web browsing and Dolly image generation. And you can see over here on the side now, I've got my demo. 
I'll go ahead and update this. You literally set it up when you do that. It's going to ask you who you want to share that with. You can share it, keep it private. You can share it with anybody that has a link, kind of like an unlisted YouTube video. Or you can go ahead and make it public. If you make it public, then obviously it's available to anybody and everybody and shows up in search. I have mine set to anyone with the link. So it's as simple as that. And when I click on view GPT, it brings it here. And now I can ask for advice. So let's just say that, um, trying to think, I want to plan a company party for my team. Give me some ideas. Now, this is a very rudimentary example what I would use this for. But you'll be able to see, in this case, based on its programming, each advisor is going to go ahead and give me information from their perspective. It begins with Peter Drucker, David Ogilvy, then Tony Stark. Yes, this is the Tony Stark from Iron Man. Uh, no big surprise here. It wants a cutting-edge event with AR or VR experiences. That sounds like Tony Stark. Seth Godin, Steve Jobs. Yes, Hermione Granger from uh, Harry Potter. A long story, but uh, adds some value here. Elon Musk. John Galt, also a fictional character from Anne Rand's uh, book as well. So um, lots of stuff and then even a consensus. So this is how I can do this. If I put this into ChatGPT, but I didn't put this inside the avatar, let's just go to ChatGPT and try this. And now I do that. Notice we're going to get a very different response because of what was Put in. I, it's not following my custom instructions or anything else. So you can see lots of di very different things. Still giving me some ideas. I'm not saying this is terrible, but not based upon the same information and the training data that I put together. So very, very helpful. Hopefully that makes sense. You can do the exact same thing, by the way, in Claude. So when you come over to Claude, I'm going to move my face here, we go into Projects. And then you can either create a project, or you can see I have a number of them there that are ready. And these then are pre-done, so you would name your project. So we'll go ahead and name it Test. Create that project. And then inside here, you're going to set custom instructions, just like you would in Custom GPT. or Yeah, Custom GPT. And then you can add content either by uploading or adding text. Super, super easy ways to do that. Let me show you one of my existing projects so you can take a look at it. I'll show you Helena, my AI news reporter. So this is a custom avatar that I built that goes out and writes unique news stories based upon search results. So if I want to look up maybe one of the latest news stories, I can do that in Google or Perplexity. I can feed all of that data and all the sources in, and Helena, which is what I named this AI avatar, will actually write a unique story. Here we go, Jonathan, what do we do? Well, I've got in, obviously, not only my custom instructions, but I also have in here who Helena is. I included text documents about things that an AI news reporter would do, what the overall goal is, what are her characteristics, what are the characteristics of viral news stories, uh, and then how to handle citations and all that. All of that becomes then custom knowledge that I've uploaded. In addition to that, you can use Gems by Gemini to do this. You can, If you go into gemini.google.com, you'll see Gems, and you can go ahead. I've loaded up that page here. They give you some that are predefined, much like uh, Google or Claude Projects and ChatGPT, or you can go ahead and create a new gem. Now, these are a little more limited than what you are with custom GPTs and Claude Projects, but if you use Gemini, this is a great place to start. Again, very similar. You're going to see put in the name, put in your custom instructions, and then uh, you're ready to go and give it a try. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful. If you are looking to, again, train an AI model on your basic information or even expanded or detailed information, creating a custom GPT or Claude project is absolutely an amazing way to do that. And one of the benefits of ChatGPT is I can now share this. So I could go ahead and grab this link for my, uh, let's go back to my avatar advisors demo. There we go. We could grab that link and I could share that and you guys could use the same, same one. So maybe you could create it for your team or anything like that.
So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, three different ways to achieve the same problem. If you've got specific questions, message me down below. I'd be happy to give you details, answer any questions. Creating projects like this, creating custom GPTs or even Gems and Gemini is really a great way to be able to expedite what you're doing and to be able to deliver more personalized results for your queries. Make it a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.